hello friends welcome back in this video like we are going to see an issue related to a v center so let me show what is happening so when i try to access my v center uh, it was working fine and uh, all of a sudden when i try to <coughs> browse my v center i am getting this 503 service unavailable error so for this generally uh, as a part of troubleshooting what we can do is like uh, we need to log into vcenter and uh, we need to check the logs so uh, like uh, when i try to check the log for vmware.vpx for in that folder we have a couple of logs where we have vpxd-6 is the log uh, so initially like uh, though the space on the drive is having actually uh, like out of uh, 40 GB it's, it was having uh, 2 GB of space so that is uh, uh, around 5% uh, but still uh, like the service went down so I was digging more and found that in the log it says that vCenter service is shut down as the free space for the database is 95% uh, more than 95% so what happens is uh, the database uh, uh, what we'll do is like it will shut down the shut down the vCenter when it reaches the 95% threshold though we have a space uh, on the drive but as per as per the threshold from uh, database it is uh, it will shut down the vCenter serv center service and uh, even though you start it again it will go back to stop state so this is what I found so I I wanted to created the space issue on the C drive uh, to to generate this error so see it's having only 349 MB out of 40 GB so I have copied couple of files to create the space issue so now I will delete the space delete the unnecessary files on the drive so that I can get some space once I done it I will just restart the vCenter services so that it can come up properly so <coughs> next step like I can show you like uh, where we where can we see that the threshold is set uh, and uh, <coughs> we, whether we can change threshold like that that part we will see next once the uh, vCenter is up so meanwhile this is a windows based vCenter but uh, if you go to vcsa uh, for that also if you have a disk space issue then obviously uh, if you check the logs so you, you will be able to see that 95 percent uh, threshold so for vcsa like we need to run the command on the db side to set the threshold to increase the threshold from 95 to 99 percent this is the command we need to run i just found it on a on a vmware article so here is i can share this article with you guys so like here how to like uh, how to interact interacting with the postgres database they mentioned we need to connect and we need to run this command so that uh, we can change the threshold so let's see whether service server up yeah it's up now so let me try to refresh and see let me close and try maybe it, it take couple of minutes so still it didn't come up uh, just we'll wait for few more minutes and see give me one second let me pause the video and once it is up I will get back Okay, I have restarted the services and uh, the center service is still coming up. So 
meanwhile we'll discuss about uh, like what are the thresholds so i just uh, found his article uh, so this article is about uh, like the error we are faced like insufficient space for database so if you see here like uh, we have the alarm name and uh, warning is set at 80 percent so whenever the uh, database size like disk space which is 80 percent uh, you will get an uh, warning and uh, at 95 percent uh, it will shut down the vCenter so for this uh, the solution is to clean up uh, unnecessary files and uh, add some space to the drive if it is a uh, VCSA or a Windows uh, Windows based vCenter we need to add space, add space to the drive so that uh, issue got uh, issue gets resolved uh, and uh, work, uh, work, uh, work around is like uh, set the value uh, like from uh, 95 to uh, 96 or 99 any like percentage so as per the requirement so here like same thing was mentioned like configuration parameters so i will share this article along with this video so let's see if okay it's up now Okay, so to see the setting, like we need to go to select the vCenter. Then once we select the vCenter, we will get these all tabs where we need to go to configuration. In the configuration, we need to go to advanced settings, and here we need to search for DB so that all parameters related DB will be listed. If you go down, see here are the two parameters related to. Uh, like a database like percentage of disk space so if you see that vpdx dot vdb dot space error percentage is 95 percent and uh, warning percent is 80 percent so here if you go uh, click edit and uh, you can modify it so if it is vcsa like uh, you can you can run the command which it was shown here uh, to change the uh, change the threshold from 95 to a higher level of person uh, like 97 or 99 so uh, I just thought of sharing this because uh, I saw this type of uh, this, this type of issue in production where I'm able, I was able to see disk space around 20 GB but uh, even though it is showing a 20 GB of disk space when I overall from percentage of aspect uh, it was more it was uh, about 95 percent of total size so that caused the uh, uh, service service to shut down so like these are the parameters you need to be check when every time if you if you see that uh, vcenter service went down or you are unable to connect so I, so that's all for this video uh, we'll join we'll <coughs> we'll discuss another topic in next video bye bye